Hi everyone. So today in this video, we'll see how to generate the Cucumber PDF report. So normally we generate some HTML report like a, a Maven Cucumber report or extend report or allow report, right? So we have option for a PDF uh, creating, I mean, creating PDF report also in Cucumber, okay? So today we'll see, I mean, there are, I mean, two way like uh, we can uh, create the PDF report. Uh, one is, uh, I mean, we'll see one by one, okay? So this is a page that you can go and you can refer how to create and set up a PDF uh, report for Cucumber project. Okay. So this article will describe various section of PDF reports generated for the Cucumber exe user. Okay. So this can be done by through the uh, Cucumber Maven plugin as well as using the uh, extend report Cucumber adapter as well. Okay. So we can use the extend, I mean extend report version five and six as well. So in our case, we'll see the uh, version five. Okay. So when you scroll down, so these are the details. So for creating PDF report uh, with the extend report, right? So you have to refer to this document, I mean, this page, okay? So that article I will share in the description, you can refer that one. So like I said you, right? Uh, like I told you in the, um, so there are two ways we can create this report. So this is how the report looks, okay? So in the right side, you can see these are the Cucumber sample report. So that will come like a feature scenario step, and you can see the failures and some uh, bar charts also available with the detailed steps also. Okay, so these are the feature name and these are the scenarios. So what is the test case? I mean, uh, pass, fail, status, I mean, skip, right? Everything you can see and duration as well. So this will give you the detail section. Okay, so the name does it. This is the scenario section and this is the feature section. Right, this is the detail section, right? So how do we generate this one? So like we've seen, right? So using the Cucumber Maven report plugin also we can generate as well as using the extant report PDF, uh, this plugin also we can use it. Okay, so in this case, uh, if you if you are I mean uh, if you want to use this Cucumber Maven report right so these are the configuration that we have to do. So usually we will uh, add some plugin to the runner class right so this is what I mean you have to first generate this Cucumber.json file because here you can see the JSON report needs to be generated first which can be done by the setting of the below uh, plugin okay so after from there only they are I mean uh, doing this generating this PDF. For using this uh, Cucumber Maven plug reporting plugin, right? So you have to do this. I mean, you have to add this plugin to your runner class, as well as you have to add this plugin to your com.exe. Okay. So it is very easy. Uh, today we'll see about this extend report PDF Cucumber uh, report. Okay. By using the extend report PDF Cucumber report. So today we'll see this option how to generate this uh, extend report PDF for the Cucumber project. Okay. So for enable. So the PDF report is enabled by default in the Cucumber Extend Maven plugin. Okay. So what we have to do means like we have to do uh, two setups. So one thing is uh, under the extend dot property file, right? So we have to give this uh, this uh, two lines of code. I mean two lines of the uh, uh, setup that we have to do. So one is uh, extend dot report at PDF start equal to two, which means it will when you make it as a true, it will generate the report. If you update as a false, it won't generate the report actually. And this is uh, your output file. I mean, uh, wherever you want to create your uh, folder, I mean, uh, your report, right? So you can create it. Okay. So in our case, I'm using Cucumber version six. Okay. So for setting the Cucumber uh, JVM six, right? So, I mean, the, the, the most recent one is uh, uh, we are using the Cucumber six API, right? So the setups are like, a, you have to go with this uh, found out dependencies. Uh, if you are using the external report version five, Right. So if you are using extend report four, then you can go for this form. I mean, this dependency. Okay. So in our case, we are going with the extend report version five. So I have added this dependency to my form dot Okay. So after that, in plugin, right, you have to uh, add this plugin to generate the extend report for Cucumber adapter. So when we see this adapter, right, so this adapter will help you to create the Maven report plugin. Okay. So when you are not using the extend, I want to go with the only. Uh, Cucumber Maven report plugin, then you can use this one. And I mean, uh, by using this plugin and adding this plugin to your form.x1. So if I don't want to go for that one, I have to go for an extent report, then you have to add this plugin to your under class. Okay, so make sure you are, I mean, completely copying this entire line. So if you miss anything here, then you will be get uh, this error. So here you can see add the colon at the end, right? So if you're not adding that one, you will be getting some uh, error like this. Okay, so after that, uh, so this one, so we have to create only extend dot uh, property file that you have to place under SRC test resource folder, right? So this one already we have covered. We covered this one is uh, our previous video, right? So how to create a, uh, the Cucumber default report that comes coming from the uh, Cucumber API 6. 
right? So how many from uh, version six, we can create some uh, Cucumber Cloud based report that you can share with anyone, right? So we already, I mean, uh, um, seen that in my previous video. So this one we have to set up in the extender property file. So where you, I mean, we have to enable this uh, Spark report is equal to true, and you have to tell where I mean your output has to store. I mean, where you, uh, I mean, your report has to be generated. The folder you can define. Okay, these are the two setups that we have to do. If you don't want to use this extend.property property file, you can configure directly to your form.xml by using this configuration. Okay, so that's all about the setup. And additionally, so for extend report, right? So we have to give this extend uh, hyphen config.xml file also we have to pass, right? So this one uh, we have to pass uh, as well as uh, for report. Uh, for PDF, right? So for PDF, we have to pass a PDF config.yaml file also in the project. Okay. So that YAML file you can download it from here. So this is how the PDF dot I mean PDF config.yaml file look like this. Okay. So this one also you have to place in the under SRC test resource folder. Okay. So in, in what we have to keep uh, under test resource, I mean test resource SRC folder, you have to keep the PDF config. Dot yaml file and the extend dot property file as well as uh, this extend config file xml right so these three files uh, we have to keep in the src test resources after that uh, we have to add this plugin to our runner class so once this is done so we are good to create a project i mean a pdf report as well as the this extend report spark report right so today we'll see that one in our uh, project so i am going back to the project now so here you can see this is my form.xml so I will I will go through what are the uh, I mean what is the Cucumber version I am using here. So here you can see I am using the Cucumber version six point six point zero, right? And for reporting, right? So I am using the Cucumber six adapter, which is two point five point zero, which we have seen now, right? So I am taking this one, and since I am using the uh, Cucumber six adapter, and I am I am getting this extend report version five, right? So if you want to use so four, then you have to go for this dependency, okay? So after that, yeah, this is all a cucumber thing, and this is Selenium and the driver, right? So we are done with the, uh, I mean, setting the dependencies. So now we have to go to our SRC test resource folder, right? So here you can see the extend that property file. So we have uh, copied all the things from here. So I have copied this, uh, I mean, Spark start equal to true, right? As well as I am generating some JSON also, okay? So this is for PDF. Okay, so all the three things I have kept as a true, which means I will, uh, I mean, I will, when I execute this program project, I will be getting all the three reports, okay? So this is, uh, here you can see the Spark report, right? So this is where uh, my report output will be get stored. So these are, I mean, these are additional uh, report that we can use, but uh, we, are, we are going to use only this uh, Spark, Spark, JSON, and PDF, these last three things, okay? So I have pointed out to uh, to put this output, I mean, to put this report in the test output folder under the Spark, it will be created as the Spark uh, report, HTML report. Under JSON, I'm, I'm, I'm making this uh, JSON report. Under PDF report, I'm creating the PDF report, okay? So additionally, we can do something in the uh, report. So this is one is like a view order, right? So we can arrange this view order by going to this page, right? Once again, so here it is. So you can customize your report also, right? So the view order could be like a, so the first thing always I have to see the uh, one second. Yeah, so here you can see, right? So view order. So Spark report view order. Like so, we can we can give the order like a dashboard uh, needs to be in the first phase and the test should be in the second phase. Category exceptions, others on the device log, right? So this is a line I just copied from here and I just kept here. Okay, so this is like a, so how do you, I mean, your report order should be uh, look like, okay. And these are the screenshot part, like uh, you can take it uh, from here. So if you want to attach the failure reports to your, I mean, failure screenshot to your report. So this is a way you can take the screenshot and you can attach to the report, okay. So these are the things, I mean, things that has to be done in the extend.property file. Then property file should be under the SRC test results code. So after that, uh, we have to place this, extend config.xml file the, 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 I mean this is a normal one we always use right and one more is PDF uh, config yaml file right so this config file you can I mean this yaml file you can get it from this site okay I will share this link in the description of the video 
So that's all. Uh, I mean, uh, setting up the thing. So after this setup, right? So we have to be done with the palm dot XML setup. I mean, adding the dependency to palm dot XML. As well as we have seen this uh, configuration under the SRC test resource. So now we have to add the plugin, right? So the plugin that we are using is here. So we have added the dependency. So, so we have to do the plugin configuration. So this is a plugin that we have to use. I have just copied from here and I have, I mean, I given to my uh, runner class. Page. Okay. So this is the one that I have added, right? So make sure, uh, I mean, copying the correct thing from the website and pasting it here. Okay. So I will save this now. So now you can see what I have, I mean, uh, where I have pointed my import needs to be generated is like a, so here we are placing the report under test output folder, right? So we don't have any test output folder in the project, uh, I mean, uh, directory. So after I run this uh, test, so you can see one test output folder created here and all the three reports, right? So we have enabled a Spark report, JSON report, as well as PDF report. So now I will go ahead and I will execute the uh, uh, test file. So now the execution will get start. Okay, so the execution started now. So we'll wait for the execution to be complete. Then we can see all the three reports are here getting or not. Okay, so I have two feature files given to the project. So the two, one is completed and one more is running now. Okay, it's very simple, uh, like uh, doing some Google search and Bing search. Okay, so now the execution is done, right? So we can see here, so the execution is done now. So I will go to the project and I will just refresh the project. So now you can see the report output folder is created just now. Okay, so where you can see all the three reports right, that we have given in the extend dot property. Like one is Spark report and one is PDF report, one is JSON report. So whatever the path that I have given here, it created automatically, right? So the first one is JSON. So it will similar to your Kukuma.json file, right? So the next would be uh, the PDF report, right? So I will uh, come to this PDF later. So before that, I will open the Spark report, right? The Spark is, I mean, uh, it's, it's a new extended report version, okay? So here you can see this is a, a report version file, okay? So all the dashboard and the step files, uh, you can see the, uh, so failures. I have two feature files. So these are the two features. So one is getting failed and you can see the respective screens also, I mean, screenshot also attached to the report, right? And one more is getting passed. Right. So here you can see that I mean uh, I mean the steps are there. Right. So if you have any bug, okay, so it will name here to again do the step. Okay, so this is I mean uh, extended report that we already know, right? So this is something new PDF report. So when I open this, you can see the uh, I mean same like whatever we have seen in the example, the PDF uh, report, right? So I just opened that one. Now you can see it here, right? So here you can see the pass, right? So I have two pieces of file. So two feature one is passed and one is uh, failed, right? So here also two scenarios. I mean, one scenario is failed and one scenario is passed. And step level also you can see the report, right? So you can see the bar chart and, and I mean detailed report also you can see. So, so this one has navigation feature. So when you click on this, uh, I mean, uh, your feature file, it will automatically navigate to a particular detailed section. Okay, all the steps, everything will be recorded here, okay? So this is how we generate the Kukumba PDF report. Okay. So now uh, we'll see the, uh, the Kukumba default report, right? I mean, Kukumba 6 uh, default report that they have implemented, right? So now you can see this one already we covered uh, in my previous video also. So what we have to do, we can we can configure the same by using the Kukumba properties. So you have to use this Kukumba properties enabled equal to true. Otherwise, you can simply add some plugin to the J unit, right? So I'm running as my, my project as a J unit runner class. So where we have to apply publish equal to true in the runner class file. Okay. So when we do this one, so you have to update in the plugin. I mean, uh, after this, uh, right? So you have to simply type publish equal to true. Okay. So which will uh, create the Kukuma default report that, that comes from the uh, Kukuma.io default one. Okay, so now I will execute this one. So we will not be getting this uh, uh, this state. I mean this uh, message since we have configured this publish equal to true, right? So this is public is equal to true. You have to give it in the cucumber options. So this is my cucumber option. I am passing this public public equal to true. Okay. So now you can see uh, we will be getting some uh, cucumber report services. 
so that you can, I mean, that URL will be published in the console. You can directly copy that URL and you can open it in any browser. Okay, so that will give you the report of, I mean, that new report uh, that's coming out of from the Cucumber team from the version six. Okay, so we'll wait for one more feature to uh, get complete. Okay, so our execution is done now. So you will be getting some uh, URL from the Cucumber. Uh, okay, yeah. So now you can see a view where Cucumber reported this URL. You simply copy this URL and go to any browser. Okay, I just copied the URL and I will go to any browser. You can simply open this. Okay, so here, this is a, a Cucumber reports. Uh, it, it's coming from the uh, Cucumber uh, server. Okay, so here also you can see. So we have two feature files. Okay, so fifty percentage is passed a minute ago. And what is the duration? I'm using the Cucumber JVM six point six zero. Right. So that's what we seen in the uh, form dot Right. So six point six zero. I mean six point six point zero. Right. So here you can see we have two feature files. One is Bing search. Right. So the various uh, screenshots also coming with the, with the report and one more is google search right so which is getting passed correctly so you can see the, uh, the examples also i'm using it here everything is coming in the cucumber report so this one you can uh, so we already uh, seen this uh, how to generate this cucumber report in my previous video please go ahead and watch that so there are i mean different way of we can configure like so so now we have done from the uh, our runner class file right so instead of doing from runner, you can configure on uh, Cucumber dot properties in the SRC test resource folder. From there, you can trigger. I mean, you can give like a true or false, right? So this is how uh, I mean the Cucumber report uh, looks. So you can you can climb this report if you want. Otherwise, you can you can delete it. Okay, so, so the report will be uh, destructed in a day. Okay, so before that, if you want to, you can climb it. Otherwise, you can delete this report. So simply click on the delete. It will be deleted from the Cucumber server, right? So that's all about uh, generating the uh, Cucumber PDF report as well as uh, external report version 5, right? And uh, Cucumber default report services, okay? So please, uh, if you have it, I mean, guys have any doubt or any clarification, please feel free to ask in the comment section, okay? Okay, so additionally, if you want to change the uh, reporting color, right? So report title also we have to change, right? So this is coming default uh, that report service are made, right? So instead of, uh, for, I mean, you can change the title of the report, right? So how do we change? You can go to this uh, PDF config YAML file. So here you can change, right? So since I have given like a, a grasshopper uh, PDF report, so that's the reason we, we are seeing the same title, right? So likewise, you can change the title. So I will simply change my report, okay? Okay, so color background color and failure color, right? So past color scenario, everything you can change. Okay, so this is, I mean, I mean, uh, completely you can customize as per your request, I mean, as per your need. Okay, so since we have changed the title uh, report, right, so I will run one more time. Let's see that, I mean, the title report is getting changed or not. Okay, the execution is started now. Okay, so now the execution is closed, right? The execution is done. So now we'll uh, refresh the project and we'll see that this, this time the report is, uh, I mean, title has changed or not. Okay, so I'm opening the same report now. So now you can see the report name is changed to the my report. So the previous report we were getting like a, this uh, default title. So now I have changed it, right? So this is my recent report, right? So this is how you can go ahead to the, this uh, YAML file, PDF config YAML file. So you can change the data color and start time color. Everything you can customize yourself. Okay. Thank you guys. That's all about uh, create, creating this uh, Cucumber PDF report. So please feel free to ask your uh, questions in the comment section. Thank you guys.